Hi guys, I'm Shmi, hello, and welcome back to the channel where you join me for something I am really quite excited about this evening. In fact, prior to bringing my car out here to the Middle East, the number one item on the bucket list was to drive it at Yas Marina. Well, thanks to my friends at Quant Fury, the Shmimobile AMG GT Black Series is here in the pit boxes beside the Yas Marina Formula One Grand Prix circuit. It will be my first time experiencing the new layout on the track that was set up for last season's race, a pretty dramatic race that unveiled Max Verstappen as the world champion. I've also been driving just now to do some warm-up laps in an Aston Martin Vantage GT4 experience car here at Yas Marina. Plus, there are plenty of cool cars around the four Eight Challenge Evos, Porsches, some Manti Racing GT2 RSs and GT3 RSs, and of course the GT Black Series to drive out on track. Plus, another bucket list item I've been able to tick off was to drive that car up Jebel Jace, one of the best mountain driving roads in the world, and I can share some of that tonight also. This is starting to wrap up what has been a phenomenal adventure, but this is going to be one of the best bits. The GT Black Series here at Yas Marina. For this evening, I booked myself with the car onto a Yas Premium Car Track Day, not really knowing what to expect, but I have the entirety of a pit garage box all to myself, so things are pretty much prepared. In fact, the track day has been running all day, but I wanted to drive under the floodlights at night. It feels pretty special to have this car here. Now, I have just done a few sighting laps, as I mentioned, in their Aston Martin Vantage GT4 race car, and that was pretty cool to get a small taste of what's to come. But now it's gonna be about this, the car that I'm trying to preserve slightly, knowing it has some big adventures ahead things like the tires and the brakes they're expensive and costly to change and i don't really want to have to deal with that at this time so i can't go completely full out we'll see well how it's going to unfold when i get it out on track but to think this car has driven at the nurburgring at donnington park it's also driven at the dubai autodrome and is now here at yas marina fully prepped for the purpose we've got the front splitter extended the supports are in place the towing eye cap removed and the towing eye in place and in fact while i'm thinking about it we also have the heel tread socks to go with the Mimobile. Link for those down below if you're interested in checking those out. Everything out of the car that needs to be. They supply some drinks and things and have everything set up ready for the purpose. We've got the Cup 2R tyres. Need to be a little bit conscious. They don't have the most tread in the world. Should have enough for a good few laps this evening. But GT Black Series in some pretty epic company beside the start line here at Yas Marina. You can hear the drama of all of the cars around. Plenty of race cars. In fact, AMG GT4 car just going out at the moment. Lots of challenge Evo race cars, the Ferraris, plenty of Porsches everywhere, GT3 RSs and GT2 RSs, which we might see out on the track also. But for me, for this evening, it's gonna be about this. So let's gear up, go out for a first session, then we'll check out Jebel Jace and the GT4 race car, and then push this a little bit harder. Let me hop in. The floodlights at Yas Marina await. We're in Sport Plus, we'll go out, first little bit of a warm-up lap, but this is the first time driving my car out here. <laughs> Just a little bit excited right at the moment to actually be doing this. This car does a magnificent job, settings and options wise and auto gearbox and that side of things. But yeah, out we go. Got my wristbands, got everything ready. And I'm gonna be heading through the famous Yas Tunnel and give a show of that, get the thumbs up. So this is the F1 tunnel, this is where it begins. There are some very fast cars out on track tonight though, so we need to be taking it quite easy. It's a long lap as well, being the whole Grand Prix loop. And we've got Cup 2R tyres, which are still at about, well, high 20 degrees, but it'll be helpful to get a little bit more temperature into them before we fully unleash in this. Oh, this feels cool. I'm on Yas Marina in my car. I'm at Yas Marina in my GT Black Series. You have no idea how cool this is. Absolutely no idea. Madness. Total madness. Now there are some faster cars approaching, so I'm actually going to tuck out of the way and just enjoy this for a moment. Let these guys go through. There we go, GT2 RS and AMG GT4. How cool is this? <laughs> I've got to let this warm up a little bit, obviously. This is where, well, I'm massively faster than them. I'm backing off to not completely run into the back of them. But around 
out here behind a very, very fast GT2 RS and the AMG GT4. And this is the new corner. I need to learn this line. It's not exactly easy. Late apex and then run it out quite wide here. for the first time on the new layout made a complete mess of my line but that's okay it's the first lap this feels so familiar from so many games but yet so alien because I've never driven in my car here down the start line we go Heavy braking here for T1, use the exit curves. Need to gauge all the braking points. Oh, this is madness. This is absolute madness. And this car is just ludicrously fast. And I tell you what, the brakes are seriously impressive as well. Very late apex here. Now that's cool. I'm actually chasing a 488 Challenge Evo in my GT Black Series at Yas Marina. That's not something I thought I might ever be able to say. But here we are, traction again. So I'm going to put traction into sport handling mode just to give myself a little bit more play. Obviously down the faster section, I'm very much catching the Ferrari, which is crazy. Oh gosh, I can't brake as late as they did. I definitely can't brake that late. Watching the line is interesting though. I'm not sure I've got quite as much grip through here. In fact, I need to watch out because otherwise it could go very wrong very quickly. Use the track, back to the outside. Oh, the GT Black Series is so good. This is a road car on road tires. And they do this. That makes no sense. They shouldn't be this good. Although I'm probably gonna find out that that car's on a cool down lap or something. Wow. We need to head back to the tire pressure shortly. Obviously this is quite the beating and certainly heating them up. Right, it's time to chill it down a notch. Let's go down into Sport Plus because we're definitely, definitely, definitely in need of deflating the tires slightly after a couple of laps. What an experience already. My word. <laughs> I've driven my car at Yas. I've driven this car at Yas Marina. Right, back to the pits. Well, my car is just cooling down for a moment and I can hear some Porsches out on track. Let's talk about the Aston Martin Vantage GT4. Now, I have been lucky to drive a GT4 car before, but driving that here, wow. Let me just drop in a quick clip so you can see what that was like. Yeah, not exactly bad. Not as much straight line performance, obviously, as a car like the GT Black Series, but running on the slick tires gives you a completely different experience through the corners. Some very, very loud cars moving around at the moment. But I'm gonna take this back out for another run after I first take you to my little outing to Jebel Jace. Now, Jebel Jace is a road that I've driven a few times before. It's a road that is absolutely epic every single time and you'll see what I'm talking about. There are very few roads up mountains in the world with tarmac 
as good as this. We've got countless hairpins that meander up this rocky landscape. It is a fantastic place to drive and you just feel like you want to be in a Formula One car. Just full foot flat to the floor, powering up the hill here. Obviously, we can't quite do that, it is a public road, but it's a cool place to be. It is a very, very cool place to be. Drop some gears and have some hot bangs out of the GT Black Series. Slight racing line out of it as well, obviously. This is pretty incredible. Currently parked up for some photos up towards the top of Jevil Jace. Just come and have a quick look over in this direction. The road meandering up the mountain, fresh tarmac, epic to drive, and then chilling up here. Gotta be a little bit careful, don't wanna fall down the edge. But with this car here, just something else. Pretty cool, hey? Anyway, the action here, stop the Porsches going by it sounds so good but I think now that I've lowered the pressures down again it's time for another run in the GT Black Series helmet on let's go back out at Yas Marina it's time to do this again then out at Yas driving through the tunnel tire pressures lowered and ready to rock and roll a little bit more awareness of where everything goes we're in race mode direct at the moment, which basically sets everything up perfectly for this kind of environment. There's no point trying to beat the computers in terms of settings for suspension, traction, etc. It knows what it's doing. We're in sport handling. And here we are. Back out on track. I might, for the warm-up lap, just take it a touch easier on the brakes because at the end of the day, they're really very expensive, so as they're a touch easier. Some of the speeds here are obviously fairly extreme. This is a really cool corner, late breaking in, the chicane. I know it might sound like, oh, but you can't go flat out all the way down the straight. But I'm okay with that, because you'd end up at probably, I don't know, the best part of 300 kph in a car like this. There's obviously a lot of in-car sound, which is something that was commented a lot on my previous track outing with this car. And yes, when you're in race, there is a massive amount of speaker-generated sound, and it is a little bit intense. I would prefer to have that coded out, I think. So that's one to think about for the future. <laughs> this just feels totally, totally bonkers that I'm actually here with this car. Oh, I feel so much better now that I'm doing that different line there. It just flows more nicely. But this is the one that's really catching me out. You gotta keep wide, keep wide, keep wide. Then tuck it through. If I can do that line when I'm going quicker, that would be far better. And you can roll it through here a bit quicker as well. Tuck it in. The ominous wall, that is by far my scariest part of the circuit. I suppose because I know the consequences. It can be championship changing in Formula One. Gosh.
okay. Two minutes, 13.15, and I'm gonna have a full cool down lap now. Goodness me. Woo! Aircon struggling to keep up. <laughs> oh, I can feel the warmth of the car. We definitely need to do some proper cool down. Let's actually manually upshift it now. Oh gosh. Let this car get the temps down a touch. Wow. I, I don't really know what to say. It is so fantastically fast. That was, that was really cool. That came in so hot. <laughs> it is so, so, so fantastically fast. Just brilliant. Just absolutely brilliant. Tire temps are very high. Something else is going to be coming in really hot quite shortly. So I do want to make sure that I get out of their way. So I'm going to get through here with a little bit of decent speed. Let's drop down some gear so I can get out of the way. Take it easy. They will, in theory, come flying on through. Here we go. Oh, nice! Full on flames out of the GT2 RS. That kind of made me want to speed up and keep on his tail, but I gotta let this car cool. Gotta save the brakes, be a bit sensible. Even if it's a little bit boring <laughs> to cool it down. Yep, it goes to radical. <laughs> yeah, this has actually happened. I've driven my car at Yas Marina, one of the most famous race circuits in the world, a place that I have driven before, but I've been to many times to watch the F1, literally from yachts here in the marina on multiple occasions including that famous race three or four months ago that settled the 2021 Formula One World Championship. Oh boy, right, cruise back to the pits, not too long now, and then uh, go for a snack, have a breather, part of the premium track there at Yas Marina. They look after things really quite nicely, so that will be perfect. <laughs> Comfort mode on a racetrack. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. It's time for another session. I can't be here and not make the most of this. So I've just been out for a ride actually in a GT3 Manti Racing and it's been interesting to learn some other lines. Very different braking and driving technique given the positioning of the engine. And it's fascinating how much you actually notice that when you're out on track and the differences between the cars. Anyway, we don't have too much fuel left, so I can't go too wild. But I'm gonna try my best to enjoy it anyway. But basically, more in towards the tight part there. Gosh, so ballistic, this car. And also here, massively more trail braking in, all the way to here. And then away, chop more of the corner out of there. Yeah, basically, there are lots of different techniques for driving, obviously. There's no one rule for everything. And every car needs it done in a different way, not like that. But hey, warm up lap. We're in race and sport handling again. I'm just gonna leave the gearbox in auto, it does such a good job. And when it's this fast and this responsive and this much what you want, why change it? But this corner, completely different option of line, in like that, and V it, out, and then back round. I'm not sure what's faster, that's why actually having built-in telemetry really helps because it gives you that data down the straight. Curve there. 
Let's try this. Tighten. Significantly quicker. So I've definitely been getting that wrong. It's all learning. Got to watch the trail braking in here. Not quite so good as the Porsches. But still very, very quick out of there. I like being quite wide here because it means I'm set up more for the next corner and getting more speed out of here. Away we go. Gosh, it's almost like a private track right now. Right. Different line. Significantly faster. actually amazing how much faster that was considering this is actually not a particularly smooth lap in general but down on the telemetry by almost two seconds <laughs> and just like that one of those seconds was almost gone to chill out and walk it back round. Wow, 211.29. I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> Especially knowing that I could actually have done that. I, I know I can take another second or two out of that. This is definitely in the 210s, probably the 209s, 208s. The right hands, 207s, I'm sure, I would think. But for me, that's a pretty nice start. So, bucket list. Check, done, my car at Yas Marina. What a day, what a day, this was amazing. I'm even singing to myself, that's how happy I am to have driven here. <sighs> wow. Well, excuse a bit of helmet hair going on. That was epic. I've had a little bit of time to take this in, but I have now driven with my UK right-hand drive Schmimobile here at Yas Marina, Yas Island, Abu Dhabi, UAE in the Middle East, thanks to Quant Fury. This is mind blowing and is gonna need a bit of time to process, but bucket list well and truly checked. That is something I would only have been able to dream about. What an adventure, thank you for being part of it. And the crazy thing is that that car can get around that fast and it's not even prepped for the purpose. It's on tires that are very nearly finished. We're going to need to do an inspection of the car prior to heading onwards with it out of the UAE for sure. So that's gonna be coming up. But the tires are nearly gone. It's not actually even properly set up for the purpose. It comes with a set of camber plates uh, at different degrees. I've not used any of those. It's on completely default stock settings. Obviously we do have the wing doing its active thing. We do have the front splitter extended, but there's a whole lot more that you could actually do to completely prime it, to have it even quicker in that kind of environment. This wing is just ridiculous. And in fact, with the GT4 car up there, it's really interesting because the GT4 car is based on the AMG GTR and came out before this. This has a bigger wing, more aggressive front aero, obviously a lot more power, especially with the Opus upgrades. I think this would probably do a lap quicker than the GT4 around here. Um, I mean, 500 horsepower versus 850 makes a big old difference, but I genuinely think this would go even quicker. So I need to pop the towing eye away, pop the front splitter away, get everything packed up, and sorted, but I have now driven here at Yas Marina with this. That's mad. That's absolutely mad. I hope you've also enjoyed a little bit of the Vantage GT4 and Jebel Jace with that car. What has this trip been? What has this trip been? Oh, a car's transporter just went by. They're gonna be looking after this very soon as it does head on. Oh my word. I'm not often actually as kind of speechless as I am right now. This is such a good car. It really and truly is one of the greatest cars ever. And with these kind of memories, it's quickly going to be vying with the Ford GT and my SLS Black Series for, let's say, top spot in the permanent Schmimobiles garage. Anyway, marshals are back in. Everybody's packing up. Challenge cars are going to be popped away. Night is over from here at Yas Marina. 
what a day thank you to everyone here thank you to everyone watching thank you to everyone everyone because that's insane don't forget the heel tread socks link down below and again thanks to my friends at quant fury that's it for now though and i'll see you again very soon cheers